The making of the epic documentary Eyes on the Prize is the subject of a new book called True South. It was written by white cameraman John Els, who shot several interviews for the influential civil rights documentary. John, how you doing? I'm great. How are you, Roland? Good to see you. So, so here you are uh, watching this actually take place. Uh, and give us a sense of what you saw with your own eyes and Henry Hampton had to go through. Well, I mean, for Henry Hampton, it was a 10-year struggle uh, to get eyes on the prize made. It was uh, at a time back in the 1980s when, believe it or not, uh, there was very little history uh, on American television. And Henry was, uh, he was, he had the job of actually sort of inventing this, this way of storytelling from, from nothing. Um, so he, he tried it once for commercial television and went down in flames. He did it again. Uh, rebooted it for uh, public television, and we spent um, about a year um, going around the American South, uh, shooting interviews with all the the foot soldiers and the the, the great leaders uh, of the civil rights movement. Unfortunately, and some of them had passed by then, but it was an extraordinary experience uh, for me. I had I had been in the South in the 1960s, uh, working in the movement, um, and to go back and revisit that history. Um, as a grown man, I mean, I tell you, it was, it was an extraordinary experience working for an extraordinary man, Henry Hampton. John, uh, also, when you, when you look at this story, I mean, look, in the 80s, you were still dealing with people not far removed from the racist Jim Crow days. And it's not like those feelings left. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was... You know, you know the the civil rights movement was still a really raw topic in a lot of the country, and most of our most of our shooting was done in the South. It was done in Mississippi, Alabama, uh, Georgia, uh, and you know that part of the country had transformed itself. But you know, I mean, racism is a you know it's a river that that as Henry said, it goes underground and then it resurfaces, um, and you know the monster sleeps with one eye open. So. We, Henry was determined that he was going to have uh, white folks who had resisted integration, had resisted full equality in the 1960s. He wanted to, to, to give them their moment, to let them speak honestly uh, on camera about why they had resisted the civil rights movement. Um, and to their credit, there were actually uh, about a half a dozen folks who went on camera, a couple of sheriffs. Uh, George Wallace himself sat down for an interview with us. Mm -hmm. the, the head of the uh, White Citizens Council sat down with us. Um, uh, so, you know, it was an attempt to, to, to really give a, a broad, honest look at what that movement and its resistance was all about. Got it. Greg Carr, your question. I would say very quickly, John, I want to congratulate you. I read the book when it first came out. My good friend Judy Richardson is there. Could you say a little bit about the importance of research, how, John, how, how the treatment was written for Eyes on the Prize? Because we talk about Ken Burns, but particularly for young people out there, how important is it to do your research? Because that team that did all those interviews, you did an, an, a service to the country and to the world that really can't be underestimated. I urge everybody to read it. But how important is it for young people to really understand the importance of reading and research so they can do these kind of interviews that, that are, take place? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you got to get it right. You got to get it factual. Uh, you know, I mean, we're now in a, a country that's just, a, you know, it's there, there are waves of fantasy <laughs> breaking over the country. And if you're going to go back and tell the history, uh, you better get it right, because this is the record. And we knew um, working uh, on Eyes on the Prize that this was probably the last best chance to get this history right. So you had to you know, you had to dig into those archives, and it meant, it didn't just mean hopping on the internet and going to Google, it meant exactly. going into the archives and digging through those old, dusty old newspapers. It meant going uh, to the TV vaults and actually going in and finding those old reels of of 16 millimeter film. It meant for uh, uh, Judy Richardson to, to contact the FBI to try to get surveillance photos of movement people. You had to do the the original, uh, the original work, um, because you know you can't, uh, you know you, you can't sustain the telling of our histories if it's not sustained on on fact. You just gotta, and fact is not easy to come by. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, John. About I, I don't have much time, John. I gotta ask you this question here. I ask every book author this: that one wow moment writing this book, where even you said, "Wow, this was crazy." 
<laughs> I'll tell you exactly what it was. I had been in Selma, Alabama in 1965 working for the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. And it was not until uh, I worked on Eyes on the Prize that I discovered that the administration, the administration of Lyndon Johnson, was really, really looking for a trigger to introduce civil rights legislation. That these guys, uh, President Johnson and his Attorney General Nicholas Katzenbach, they were ready to go. They wanted to achieve full voting voting rights, uh, and they were looking to the demonstrations in Selma uh, to make it possible for them to act, to force them to action. And I had no idea when I was in Selma watching the, you know, the mad dog sheriff go crazy, watching the troopers. Uh, so it was the, that behind the scenes work by who it turned out to be, uh, you know, a, a president of very goodwill toward the movement. That was a big surprise to me. A uh, big, big, big surprise to me, especially in these times when we have, uh, I should say, a rather different sensibility in the White House now. <laughs> All right, John Ells, uh, we are out of time. I oh, certainly appreciate so it. Thank you so very much. Folks, pull the book cover up, please. Again, the book is called True South. Henry Hampton and Eyes on the Prize, a landmark television series that, of course, redefined the civil rights movement. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. Thanks a bunch. Let me also thank Greg Carr, Liz Copeland, uh, Barbara Arnwine, as well as Rashad Robinson for joining us as well. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.